what is up guys this is Tiro finally back with the Redmi Note 7 Pro videos and here I am showing you guys the latest AOS IP dirt face ROM which is the 29th August 2019 build so let's do this I have flashed the latest ANX camera over here and let me tell you I did not flash the 48 megapixel fix anymore and I think it is working fine over here yes the ANX camera is not present by default but why I am talking like at first with this camera and stuff well let me tell you that one thing that is not working anymore over here I am mentioning it again that I did not flash the 48 megapixel fix here but over here the 48 megapixel mode works and even the portrait mode works but the thing which does not work is the slow motion mode as you can see it just shows straight up camera error in the slow motion mode so if you have flashed the latest 139 ANX camera zip it won't work the slow motion may not work now let's talk about the stock camera well it is not present over here right now because like it replaces kind of the stock camera so the default camera you will get is the snapdragon camera which is not that good so i would say you can flash the nx camera without any issues and over here you can also install google cameras yes i have been using this google camera and i will show you what is the differences and what settings i use over here in a different video but like i am have been using this google camera and it is working fine over here this is the like the launcher launcher let me show you the settings and as you can see this is the latest launcher launcher it has all the customizations you need and you have to double tap to sleep gestures and stuff so that you can just double tap on the screen and here is the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see i'm just tapping the fingerprint scanner on the back side and as you can see it's unlocking really fast so no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner we have the google now cards to the left and it is like super smooth no issues whatsoever everything is super smooth you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and stuff everything works like those and you can add multiple like toggles from here there are a lot of options for the quick toggles so nothing has been skipped over here in this rom and yes aos ip dirt has been really great with customizations i have said it one of the best roms Yes, it is still one of the best ROMs inside about section if you go Android version here it will show the dark face logo up top and Android version shows as 9 of course and here you can see the version and stuff 9.0 dark face homemade violet and this is the 29th August 2019 build and the stock kernel here is the pixel plus kernel let me go back into system and here you still don't find the system updated so that is a bummer that you still have to update it manually so that's how it is and of course we get all the customizations inside owl's nest but let me tell you what thing is new straight up over here you will find like different things maybe in the ui like a little bit smoothness and here and there but let me tell you what is like what feature is new that is gonna be simply this three finger screenshot now you can take this kind of long screenshots as you can see let me show you and it opens automatically as you can see and you can take these kind of long screenshots and it does work fine yes it is there even in the pixel experience plus rom and it is there over here too so that is really great that this feature is there and inside owl's nest we have normal customizations like battery bar battery and carrier label clock customization network traffic icons status bar icons and stuff hide notch option is there wall icon is there and the network traffic and notification ticker option is there we have the quick setting like customization over here adaptive brightness button brightness control and we also have this feature over here as you can see you can control the brightness by just sliding a finger on the status bar really helpful features and inside notification we have the ambient music ticker heads up notification disabling and the battery led and stuff yes the battery led does work and inside the nav bar we have the like normal navigation bar settings you can change the like layout or invert the layout that is why my back button is to the right side you can also adjust the height and like landscape width and stuff then we have pulse mode so over here it just shows uh like visualization on the snap bar whenever you are playing music and inside navigation bar we have the stock smart bar fling options and then we have the pixel animation too and if you go to recents we have the recent panel changing option to pi or oreo let me go back inside lock screen you will get some interesting features like charging info then we have the media cover art clock style you can change it to text and stuff a lot of options are there and you can also have the date like normally by default it should look like this as you can see and it also shows the weather and stuff so you can change the temperature unit lock screen color stuff are there you can increase or decrease the font size for the lock screen like clock fonts and stuff 
and then we also have the face auto unlock and fingerprint unlock is there too so that is really great that the fingerprint unlock we do get over here and we do not have to enter our like pin after i reboot now one thing let me tell you that you should flash this rom by following this video from the card if you don't follow that you might face some issues of encryption and stuff make sure you're decrypted to have all the features like unlocked over here and quick unlock and stuff everything is there let me go back inside gestures we have those brightness control three finger screenshot gesture then lock screen and status bar double tap to sleep option and inside gestures we have the activate torch the long press power button toggle torch that simply works fine over here let me show you if i like so as you just saw if i like tap and hold the power button for longer period of time in the lock screen it just toggles the torch as you can see it works flawlessly now inside advanced we do have some alarm blocker and stuff then we have in call vibration and regarding the call ui let me tell you that yes there is the like call recording option and there is also like ball decalling and stuff everything is working i did not test the video calling it may or may not work i'm not sure and inside display settings let me show you that we have the night light option and stuff then we have auto brightness or adaptive brightness then we have double tap to wake yes it does work pocket detection is there too wake up on plug i disabled it and then we have ambient display ambient display does work over here then we have device theme changing option to light and dark then we have the quick setting toggle styles over here you can change these many options like as you can see by default it should look like this or else you can change the quick toggles like to these many options pretty cool right we have the switch styler you can change the switch or toggle styles the settings toggle styles to like material design to one plus narrow content retro stockish and then we have the default we have our option to like use black af theme and then we have these accent color options as you can see we have bunch of like accent colors you can set it to like anything over here and it should work whenever you tap the color so that is really great that we have like kind of a custom color and then we have the fonts so there are a plethora of options for the fonts you have google sans happy time and like a lot of options are there even we have the lg smart gothic fonts and a lot of other fonts are there the nokia font and stuff like whatever you have ever dreamed of you can like have that many fonts over here there are plenty of options no compromises at all now in terms of the battery i would say the battery life is pretty great and you are seeing here that i have got six hours of on time but i did top up in the middle as you can see so i would say you can definitely get about like seven to eight hours of screen on time with this rom it also shows the battery temperature over here so that is great and inside sound settings you do get this me sound enhancer or the me audio dirac and the sound output via bluetooth and the headphone jack as well is pretty amazing over here then we have touch vibration vibrate on plug you can disable all those things if you need we have also vibrate for calls normal stuff and google pay and stuff does work right out of the box you do not need to worry and let me show you one more thing in terms of the drm info it still has the level one certification as you can see from here the security level shows as so that is great that we can stream netflix and amazon prime videos in full hd over here like it should be working i don't have a subscription so i'm not sure now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management here let's open file explorer now facebook Twitter, Play Store, YouTube, Instagram. Let's open all those apps from memory again. Did Chrome full stop? I don't know. Maybe Chrome has been removed from memory. Let's open File Explorer, Facebook, Twitter, Play Store, YouTube instagram i don't know what happened with chrome but yeah first time maybe it reloaded but i'm not sure as you can see right now all the apps are in memory and i can switch between apps just like this so yeah memory management i did not face any issues in the memory management department that i can pretty much say now let me open pubg and show you guys in which settings you can play pubg on in this rom and if you want to know about the volume panels as you can see this is how it looks like and you can expand the volume panels just like this to like control the media alarm and then notification volume and as you can see by default pubg has launched in full screen as you can see there is no black borders to the left side of the notches side so that is really great and while it's loading let me show you one more thing that advanced reboot option is there as you can see 
if I tap on advanced you can directly reboot to recovery fast boot or like normal system so advanced reboot options and stuff are present over here no issues regarding those so as you can see in the settings we have smooth and ultra then if we go balanced we have ultra too then in HD we have high settings so you can only play on like ultra settings in balanced and smooth and if you go HD you will only have the high settings and the gaming performance is pretty fine over here no complaints that I have and here is the end to score of this ROM and I have no idea why but I use this internet speed mirror app but this is simply not working in this AOS IP dirt face ROM which is a little bit disappointing but yeah that's how it is maybe a apps problem like app development problem or something but this simply does not work with this ROM it just shows 0 kbps I'm just saying this is a paid app so yeah it's kind of disappointing but you do have the network traffic indicator like by default you can use that too so what do i think about this aos ip dirt face rom let me know in the comments what do you guys think i would say this is one of the best roms out there for redmi note 7 pro right now at least in my opinion because it has all the customizations it feels like really smooth and it has like again all the customizations and it works flawlessly it has double tap to sleep it has like those like you don't have to enter your pin every time you reboot and stuff it's so convenient the rom is really smooth it works great it feels great i would say this is one of the like kind of perfect roms out there for the redmi note 7 pro thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tiro from kdndx signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now